So, you had a photo shoot, you have a gorgeous model, but you're at a time crunch, and you don't have an assistant to help you build a softbox. What are you gonna do? Well, this is all you need. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in for another episode of Art Deco Cine Lab. This is your host, Rex. Today episode, we're gonna be talking about a pretty convenient product that will help you to get your budget photo shoot done quite a bit faster. We run into a lot of photo shoot where we just don't have enough time to actually build a softbox. And I was on a photo shoot one time with my friend Ben Grant, we we're in New York City, and we we're just kind of joking around in the studio. It's like, how can we actually get to build our softbox faster? He actually asked the photographer and the guy answered him is like, well, hire assistants. <laughs> um, that's actually is quite true but a lot of times we just don't have the luxury to get assistance or just have time to build a softbox when we get to a photo shoot. So this product here is, is fairly cool. It's, uh, this particular version is made by ePhoto, like a previous review of uh, Giant Umbrella. I'm sure you'll see different brand out there on Amazon. If you're looking, um, Lumo Studio also make one that is fairly similar. This particular version is a 24 by 36 inches. It's a rectangular softbox, and it's come into a package just like that. They have a carrying bag for you. Of course, just got like a regular you know, nylon bag. So you can open it up with a Velcro up top. You'll find the diffuser. And the softbox itself. Now, this particular design is pretty convenient, like I was mentioning earlier. It's a pop-up solution. They also kind of called it the Pro Line. Instead of actually building around a speed ring and you have to put your little stick that will put your eyes out, this simply just expand out like you do with an umbrella. See, you just push it out and lock it in place just like that. Of course, this is a little different than your typical traditional soft box which is on a speed ring and your light kind of shooting through it this is of course it's a bounce soft box so your speed light is actually going to be shooting into the umbrella itself or the soft box itself and going to bounce light back through the diffuser or without the diffuser of your choice and that will kind of get your light that you need setting this up is a little tricky and there's some pros and cons to this product which i'm going to go through in just a second but let me show you how you can actually set this thing up you actually have to detach your hot shoe mount and lighting modifier holder. Then you go ahead and pick up your softbox. There's actually a zipper at the bottom. You'll actually open this up and you'll sleeve this through your light stand. After that, go back and reinstall the hot shoe holder. Make sure that's locked in place on your light stand. And you just put that into the lighting modifier holder itself. Then lock it in place. So like you see here, your speed light is pointing toward the softbox itself. And now you can zip your zipper up the bottom and get your diffuser. And you can actually install the diffuser with the Velcro that is pre-sewed onto the softbox and the edge of the diffuser. Then, voila, there you have it. This is a pretty quick setup softbox, huh? You don't have to put your eyes out with those crazy sticks. Of course, like I was mentioning earlier, there are some pros and cons about this product. First thing of all is it is a reflector softbox, so you're losing some kind of light output here. But what's the great thing about it uh, is you, when you're using the speed light, your source is pretty small. Uh, even though if you got it all the way zoom out on your flash head, the um, parabolic nature of this softbox actually helps to redirect the light out to maximize the area that you have in the softbox. Uh, you will lose some light in the process, but that really kind of help you to spread out that small control um, speed light light stream instead of like an open bulb system. Then it will go through the diffuser and it pushes the light out. And also, being this setup is only a 
single diffusion. You can drop another diffusion inside the office. There's no room to it. Uh, but I do see some version of this to actually get with like a, a grid in front. So you can actually control your lighting spill if you want to. My biggest problem about this softbox is you can't really change the angle. Uh, what I'm seeing here is I can show it to you by removing this diffuser again. So right now we kind of have it set up just horizontal. And of course it's fine if you want to point it up. You just simply unzip the zipper at the bottom and loosen up your pan tilt head and you can do, do that. You can angle it upward. But most of the time, what we really want to do about softbox is to shoot it down. But because of the way how this is designed, your light stand can protrude out from the seam of your diffuser. So what the problem is, you can only go so far. So you can't really bend it down while with softbox. The only way you can do that is by relocating an umbrella or the uh, location of your speed light to be you know, further into the softbox itself. And that way, of course, you can control your tilt to have it tilt down slightly. But of course, by doing that, you're actually limiting how far your speed light is away from the base of a softbox. So all of a sudden, you don't really get that nice spread that you're trying to do with this setup here. So most of the time, I would like to set it as far back as I can, which means we really have to loosen this up a little bit. So this is kind of like you know, really the furthest I would like to set this up. And even when you're using this, you might want to drop your diffuser and your flash hat if you have one, just to get that extra push on the area that you need to get this light filled up. But that really is my, my biggest, biggest concern about the design of this softbox here. Other than that, I think you're trading it off for expediency, which is fantastic on a shoot. Uh, and a very compact system, as a matter of fact. It's just really light. It's only four spoke in the umbrella. All you have to do to pack this up is just pushing one button and it will retract it you know, back in the, the umbrella formation. So now you can see some example of the shot that uh, we did with this softbox here. This is pretty much a shot on the 5D Mark II. And the light source that we are using is a Yun Ong 560YN, it's the Mark III version. That's pretty much just kind of set up uh, the widest zoom setting they have, which is 24. And it's pretty much shooting parallel to the subject. It's not angled down or anything. Most of the backgrounds are really just lit by the natural sunset that we have on the lake, uh, right, right by the waterfront there that we were shooting that day. Uh, it's really cold, about 40 degree. My friend Corey is modeling for this shoot and you can see here, the lights are fairly soft coming out from the soft box. There's no harsh shadows or anything coming out of it. It's a really, really nice reflective source. I mean, the reflections of how the light's being captured within the parabolic softbox itself, it's already kind of diffused, and of course with the diffuser in front of it, it really just kind of wraps your subjects around. So you don't have a lot of harsh shadow, which is what we're really trying to achieve with the softbox here. So for a setup like this, I think I purchased this around um, $35 on Amazon, which is a fantastic deal. And most of the time, if you really want to buy a softbox, you'll be spending about um, $200 or $350 for a Westcott, and this guy on Amazon, I think when I purchased it, it was about $35. So I think it's a great option. It's the absolutely affordable product to have. Uh, it's just gonna add on to your inventory, your little, your little army of light modifier in your bag. And it's, it's really streamlined. You just put it in that bag to come with it and you're ready to go. I packed this guy with two light stand uh, and my giant umbrella and also two small umbrella just in like a thin, long rectilinear uh, light stand bag and it's just on my shoulder my camera bag just two bag and you can do a lot of creative stuff with it so it's definitely great to add on to your arsenal of course you can get different sizes you can even get a rectangular one uh whatever options they have out there you know just check them out this is i think i think it is the biggest version the 2436 if they have anything bigger i will i will hope that you can actually you know tilt this thing down a little bit just to get that better lighting angle when using a softbox. But other than that, it's a great item to have in your um, shooting bag. So that's about it, folks. Thank you very much for watching another episode of Arc Deco Cine Lab. This is your host, Rex. And again, if you like this video, please do subscribe. It's the best way to show your support to my channel. 
And if you have any questions about shooting tips or any kind of comment in particular to this product, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll get to it whenever I can. And once again, thank you very much for watching another episode of Arc Deco Cine Lab. This is your host, Rex. And for now, go out there, keep shooting, have some fun, and I'll see you next time.